Morning guys, right, I thought I'd do a little vlog type video today so you can see what I eat, what I do on a daily basis, who I train, who I spend time with, um, and James has just turned up. So he's supposed to be at half eight, he's running a little bit late, so I've got James as the first client. I got up about seven this morning, had a cold shower, I haven't had any food yet, I've just drank loads of water. Um, so yeah, let's crack on with the day. Hope you enjoy it. Let's see if he's gonna be camera shy. Let's see who laps it up when I put a camera in the face and who gets shy and a bit awkward. All right, Jimmy! Yeah, fuck you. Oh, we got the camera. Did you just say fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was tempted to. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy guys, see you later. See you in a bit. So as everyone started the classes now for the 9.30 session with Aaron, I was gonna try and, in fact, let's go see Aaron quick. Let's introduce you to Aaron before everyone gets back from their little jog. Just introducing you to everyone on Facebook and YouTube. This is Aaron. Hello. He's a, the accountability coach and the head trainer, so he does all the workouts and stuff. <laughs> and he looks after to make sure you're turning up for sessions. So I just thought I'd, they've all, they've all gone for a run. They're all doing exercising. Cool, I'll see you in a bit, see you in a bit. Oh, sorry Lou. <laughs> so next I've got to go pick Alex up because we've got to go down to Gorgeous Obsession in town to see Rachel because she wants to talk to us about a little project she's got coming up. So, let's go. How the fuck you hit your car already? Huh? How the fuck you hit your car already? I hit my car, I didn't hit my car. It's fucking dented. Where? On the side. Guys, look at this. Every time when I have a photo shoot or something important coming, it's like... I get a massive spot on my face. <laughs> Hurts, man, it's like a syringe. It's like a what? Fucking like having an injection every time I touch it. It's not even on. What, the camera? Yeah, it is. It is. You just need to flip, flip the screen around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what Why are we doing the there? thing is about. I don't know. Yeah, we've got to go get a headshot done for something. I don't know exactly what it is. Are you taking a photo of you filming yourself? Careful, what we're gonna fuck? fucking die. Huh? <laughs> Why are you filming me filming? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Tell us a story. Tell us a story, Alex. I want you to make a story about it, the Tony Robbins story. What? <laughs> When I expose myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that is a funny story actually. Yeah, we should do that. I need to, need to tell that. What about when you said about the threesome thing? Yeah. So guys, never, never go with the flow. It's a trap. Never go with the flow. Do you want me to tell it? Should I tell it? Yeah. You should. So when we went to the Tony Robbins thing, we got like a month ago now, wasn't it? Yeah. So about a month well, ago. Over a month. Yeah, a month. Yeah. Yeah, about a month ago. Basically, Tony Robbins said to, for everyone to pair up and get into a group of, I think, four people, and then everyone in the group had to point to someone at random, and whoever had the most fingers on them was the leader of the group or whatever it was. Obviously, Alex. Person in charge. <laughs> <laughs> and so Alex was the leader of his group, and then he said he made a joke and said something like, um, "So, like, oh, now you've got to tell everyone your biggest sexual fantasy." And then everyone paused, and then he obviously, you know, said that it was a joke, he was messing around. Then he went on to tell us what we actually had to do. But Alex huh. just blurted out his, his sexual <laughs> fantasy. Didn't you? What's your yeah. sexual fantasy? Have a threesome. Have a threesome. <laughs> and then obviously, um, Tony Robbins said that it was, um, oh, that it was a joke. And Alex was trying to blag it, saying, oh yeah, I was joking as well. <laughs> Funny and imagine how, how shout, because Tony said, you need to shout that, your sexual fantasy, to the uh, person in front of you, and the person in front of you is like an uh, uh, Irish lady, like 70, from Dublin, and she was like, look at me, shit. And after that, they had to give me a massage. <laughs> <laughs> imagine how uncomfortable I was. Did you get a boner? <laughs> oh. Is this the highlight of your day? Is what the highlight of my day? This. <laughs> this? I don't know, I haven't... Day's only begun, Alex. I can't. I can't <laughs> tell you. Ask me later. Did you tell her about me? Did I tell her about you? <laughs> what do you mean? Did I tell her about you? As in, as in, I'm coming. Yeah, of course, it is. She asked. She said yeah. for both of us to go. Right, they've probably got clients in there, so I'm going to turn the camera off until we get in, and then I'm going to ask them if it's all right for us to put the camera on. Bye. Thursday, the 20th of July, is the most important date because that's the showcase. 
So what the showcase is, is a collaboration of small independent businesses yeah. getting together for an evening of entertainment. It's cool. music and dance meets fashion and beauty, so to speak. Do you want any makeup on? No, I'm good, thanks. I'm all right. Alex does this on a daily, so he's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's got a cool why chip. not? Cosmetics is any gender ratio generation, isn't it? Size just right up for a penny in for a pound. I'll just explain now on the camera what we're doing. Yeah, fabulous. So, basically there's a, an event on where we, we, we've got to apply basically. So we're applying now, we've got to just take a headshot and then it gets whittled down to 10 finalists. So if me and Alex are whittled down and we get to be one of the 10 fi fi ugh, finalists, it's going to be awkward if only one of us gets it, isn't it? But if we get to be the 10 finalists, then there's an event on. When is it? on Thursday the 20th of July, which is Alex's birthday. So Rach, whereabouts is it? Whereabouts is it? Arts House. I'll let you explain it. Where is it? It's in the Arts House, the old Civic Hall okay, in Stratford. Cool. So yeah, if you, and how do people get tickets? If you want to buy tickets? Tickets are available from Gorgeous Obsession. They're 15 pounds and on the night you get 30 pounds back in vouchers okay, or cool. you can get them online from the Gorgeous Obsession website. Awesome. So that's where you get the tickets from. And hopefully if we're finalists, you'll see us there as well. So let's go in and get our headshots done. Good. Thank you. Good. See you soon. Cool. Yeah, cheers, good. Thank you. Cool. Cheers, Rach. So, cheers, when will we hear about the finalists on Monday? Yeah. Monday. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Rach. Yeah. See you later. So that's that done. Next, Alex has got a client now, so we've got to drop Alex back to the back home. You want to go back home and then oh, I'm drive to the car, studio? Yeah. yeah, get your car. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of food, and then I've got to go home, do loads of boring stuff on the computer, just emails and all that stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. So I'm back at home now, I'm just having a little snack, I'm just having some walnuts and some blueberries and then I'm going to do some phone calls and emails and all that boring stuff and then I'm going to head to the gym. I'm just about to head to the gym now and a little thought just popped into my head that I wanted to share with you. Um, it's just about basically, why is it that everyone seems to wait until they feel like crap and feel depressed to do things to make themselves feel better? Why don't you just do things every day that you know will make you happy, will put a smile on your face. Just remember, you do not need a reason to be happy. and You don't need a reason to smile, okay? There's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Just do things every single day. Look at your kid's face, look into your kid's eyes and just smile. Get up and dance. Listen to a song that you love. Remember, you do not need a reason or an excuse to be happy. So I've just got to the gym, I'm going to train at the studio today and I'm going to do my back and I've not really got time to set the camera up and mess around with all that stuff because I'm running a bit late with things. Um, so I will talk to you when I finish my workout. I just finished my workout, I feel great, I feel energised and ready for the rest of today. Now I've got to go meet a new client for a coaching session, so let's head over to Costa for a nice little green tea. I've got to go in Costa now and have a chat with the new client. I'm not going to take the camera in because that will probably freak him out a little bit going in and trying to film in. So I'll see you afterwards for a bit of lunch. So I went a little bit over with that coaching session. And um, so now I've got to go have lunch, but I haven't got time to go home and do it because it's half one now and I've got to go meet Carrie at Costa at two o'clock. So I'm going to have to just nip into m and and get a few snacks for lunch. So people are always asking me, what do you eat if you're rushing around and you haven't planned anything? And I'll show you exactly what I do if I'm rushing around and I haven't planned anything because that's exactly what I've done today and I've ran out of time. I was supposed to go home and make some lunch. But um, today I've run out of time so I've gone to m and and just got a couple of bits. I'll show you what I've got. So we've got, what's this? It's a nourish bowls with sweet potato, blah, blah, blah. Stuff in it, loads of whole foods. It's just some nuts, um, some hummus and some falafels. So we dip the hummus in the falafels and then to finish, with just some cherries. Now I probably won't eat all that, but um, that's what I've got for lunch. Um, just to show you guys that you can still stick to a healthy diet 
and eat good food if you are in a rush and rushing around. You don't have to turn to a sandwich and a packet of crisps and a bottle of Coke. There are other stuff there for you and it, is, it does work out, it's quite expensive if you do it this way. So try to prepare your meals. Try to maybe, whatever you have for, for dinner, make more of it and just pack some of it away for lunch. So I've, I was trying to find somewhere to sit and I was looking for just a piece of grass and the only piece of grass that I could find was right next to the road. So everyone thinks I'm, probably thinks I'm mental just sitting here, they're thinking what is this guy doing? Just sitting on the side of the road eating his lunch. But oh well, I don't care. Anyway, I've got 20 minutes to scran this and then I'm going to meet Carrie for a little coaching session. We're going to sit down and have a chat. Um, so yeah. Don't pretend you didn't see me walking over. Okay. You okay? I'm good, you? Yeah, man. Not filming Doing like you a... now, No, it's not filming. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. It is. Okay. That's all right. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. You can film if you want, I don't care. Okay. Do you want to say hello? It's going to be like a daily vlog today, so I'm going to upload it later. Hello. <laughs> so what's your name? Carrie. Carrie. Do you want to maybe do your Instagram or something so you can people can follow you? Mission Slim Possible underscore sisters. Wow, that's a really cool name. Mm. Mission Slim Possible was taken, so... <laughs> <laughs> cool, so we're going to have a little chat and have a cup of tea. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Cool, so I just started home quick to make a few phone calls and stuff after meeting Carrie. Now I've got to pop back out again to meet someone who hopefully will be doing yoga classes at the academy for us. Just having a little snack, a little bar, one of these fruit and nut bars. Probably, they're probably not the best thing in the world, but I like them. Little, little tiny little fruit in that bar. Bosh. Right, let's go to Costa again. <laughs> so guys, I just wanted to introduce you to our new yoga instructor. Hi. This beautiful lady, <laughs> Donna. <laughs> She's gonna be starting on Tuesday and Thursday, so I'll send a message out to all the members, um, to all of our members to let you know when Donna's sessions are gonna be, and then you can start scheduling the sessions and booking in with Donna. Fantastic. Be great so, yeah. to meet you. Yeah, cool. Excellent. Don't do much videos, Donna, so no. she's a bit shy on the videos. Same as me when I'll I first started right. doing them. I'll get there. We'll break you in, we'll yeah. break you in. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. See you. I'm doing as well today, I'm doing like a daily vlog, so my whole day, I film my whole day. So you can hopefully, if I've got time to, it's probably going to take me ages to edit. Okay. So I'm going to edit it tonight and you can see it. Not that anyone's going to give a shit what I do on a daily basis. Mark does. Mark cares. Don't you, Mark? Do I? Mark yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this place. Who else have we got in for this session? Is this the lot, yeah? I think it was fully booked earlier. It was quite busy this morning. It didn't out, was it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, they're, they're already done, yeah. All the parkues should be done. I'm in tomorrow morning, 6.30. I'll see you tomorrow morning, yeah? See you guys later. See you in a bit, mate. Right, now, hopefully, if I'm not going to be late, I'm going to go over to Warwick to do some Bikram yoga. So let's get hot and sweaty and let's do some Bikram yoga. So I've rushed to get over here and it is closed because I'm a little bit late. So it's my own fault. I should have left a bit earlier. I should learn from my mistakes because I've done this before and I've been rushing around and I've come across and I'm a couple of minutes late and obviously they can't just leave the door open. They've got to lock it and start the session. So it's my own fault, but I'm not going to stress. It's all good. The sun is still shining. We can maybe go to a coffee shop, um, you know, go on the laptop, do some phone calls, do a bit of work and chill for a bit. And then there's a there's a, a session at eight o'clock, so I'm going to come back and get on that session at eight o'clock. So hopefully I'm not late for that one. Cool. So I'm at Costa Coffee again in Warwick in the Tesco because that that's open till a bit later. Um, what's the time now? It's like just gone six, so I've got till eight o'clock to do some work. And then hello, hello. We've got till eight o'clock to do some work. And then we're gonna go in for the Big Ram Yoga, so. I don't know what I'm gonna drink. I've had too many green teas today, but I don't wanna just sit in there and not drink anything. Went for a mint tea instead of a green tea, because I've already had too many green teas today. It's so awkward talking to yourself, like in a coffee shop when everyone else is quiet. So I'm gonna stop. How we doing, mate? You good? 
I'm doing like yeah. a daily vlog today, sure, so you can sure, check sure. it out on Facebook. Damn it! You should have told me, man. I could have. I could have done. You look beautiful. You look beautiful, don't we? <laughs> so, do you want to introduce yourself to say everyone to the? Oh yes. Hey guys, hi. My name is Jazz, I'm studio owner at Bikram Yoga Warwickshire. Cool. But yeah, cool. We're gonna jump in and start the yoga session with Jazz, this beautiful man. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a bit. So what am I supposed to say in this? I'll show you, I'll show you. Just be natural, be natural, Jazz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Man, get my shades. Yeah. <laughs> take your jacket off. Take your jacket off. <laughs> the body they can get if they really work. Go on. Stop picking on it. Cool, so I've just finished my session. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm sweating like mad. And this is the main man, Jazz, who owns the joint. Um, how do people get in touch if they want to come along for a session? What's the best uh, way to just contact book online you? or you can walk in straight into the studio. The studio opens half cool. an hour before every class. Just come in 10-15 minutes before the class, any class, and we can hook you up. Awesome. Up. So you just go on Google, put Big Ram Yoga Warwick. Big Ram Yoga Warwick. Boom. That's come and it. check it out, have a session. You'll love it. Cheers, Jazz. See you guys. Is it professional? Oh, sensation, no, innit? No, <laughs> My god, it's been a long ass day today. Time to get home. In fact, I've got to go to the shop first to get some dinner. So I get some food, get home, have some dinner, go to bed. Hello boy, you hungry? Are you hungry? I've just watched that bit back with Jazz saying I'm in a sensation in it and I'm sorry Jazz. He asked me not to put it in but I've got to put it in, it's too funny. He's such a nice guy so make sure you go down and check out the classes down at the Bikram studio in Warwick. That's me done for today, I've just made some food for myself, just a nice and simple meal. I'm really hungry, I haven't really eaten much today. Uh, there's just some avocado, some beans, some black beans, cannellini beans and some chopped tomatoes, a few herbs and spices, sea salt. Put that in a pan, heat it up and then I've got some brown rice as well. Um, and this whole day, I've really enjoyed today. I've had tons of energy, tons of energy today, and you can have that as well. You just need to look after yourself. Yeah, you just need to do loads of deep breathing, move your body around, make sure it's not just sitting there all day long. Move, your body's designed to move. So loads of breathing, make sure you're breathing correctly, you move as much as you can, you drink plenty of water and drink, and, and eat proper food that's gonna nourish your body. Um, a lot of people have the right system in place but the wrong rewards in place for themselves so people will reward themselves with alcohol and cigarettes and junk food and drugs all them things that are going to damage their health if it damages your health it damages your energy levels which damages what you can achieve what you can achieve in life it's going to damage your relationships your work life if you haven't got any energy you're not going to do anything so your health is the most important thing that trumps everything else your well-being and your health are the two things that you need to take the most care of they need to be a priority okay and um, so make sure you drink plenty of water move a lot eat healthy wholesome food put a better reward system in place for yourself instead of rewarding yourself with all that stuff you need to find other stuff to reward yourself with and there's tons of things that you can reward yourself with you can just Treat yourself to a meal, to a night out. You can buy a ticket to go see your favourite artist. You can buy some new gym clothes. You can, I don't know, there's, there's tons of stuff. Tons of stuff that you can do to reward yourself in place of smoking and eating crap and all that stuff. Because if you do start to do that, if you do start to reward yourself with more positive things, then your, your whole life is going to change. Your health is going to change, which means your energy levels are going to change. And if you have abundant energy, if you get to that point where you've just got tons of energy every single day, then literally anything is possible for you. Anything is possible. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment and share in this video. That's what helps to boost it up and for other people to see. So I really appreciate everyone that likes and shares and comments on my stuff. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day or morning or night or evening, wherever you are. I love you lots. Take care.